Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Thanks for stopping in, checking out the update on this is part two of the Blue Beast. Um, you'll see in this video here that uh, we're finishing up cleaning the engine out, reassembling the heads, and we're going to be starting up and driving it around. Um, today is uh, the first day it's actually been back on the road. Last night we finished it. So today my son took it to work, drove it home. He said everything was fine, temperature was perfect. Uh, other than the fact that it was running a little rough because of the EGR tube, um, the EGR valve, anybody that's messed with the 5.3 motors know what I'm talking about. It's the EGR tube, that flexible hard tube that goes into the uh, intake right behind the throttle body. It's all messed up on mine. <clears throat> I've been wanting to delete it. I don't have HP tuners yet. I do want to get HP tuners. Uh, that's definitely, hopefully soon that I'll be getting HP tuners. So, uh, not to make this intro too long. Uh, you'll see all this in the video. Uh, if you like it, please give a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't. Hit the bell so you get updates because I do plan on doing a lot more of these videos. Uh, I've got tons of stuff in my yard right now to work on, so I've got plenty of material to work on stuff. I've got a 54 Packard. I've got my son's third gen Camaro. I've got my third gen Camaro. I've got, uh, I'm not sure what generation, uh, the S10, or not the S10, the C10. Uh, um, Chevrolets are so I've got lots of material coming up next video I'm gonna probably put out will be uh, me taking apart the uh, rear end of this um, C10 it's a 1985 short bed C10 the uh, axle uh, axle seals are leaking so I gotta pull all those out <clears throat> and do all that stuff anyways that'll be another video alright guys y'all enjoy the video alright so we're gonna reassemble the heads just wash the springs they came out pretty clean I soaked them in uh, chem dip for what a week. Puppy sat and kimmed it for a week, so it came out pretty clean. Got the push rods soaking while we reassemble these. Yeah, right, but I just want to make sure that they want it. I just figured oil always helps. A little lube before you put it in, you know? Get us some proper lubrication. Sometimes you gotta lube it up. It definitely came out pretty clean. That chem dip works really good. So if anybody wants to clean, four simple questions to get an instant quote. These are easy questions. Well, I shouldn't be. Just, shouldn't have to worry about holding it back. Seriously, that was really fast. I know, right? And the online application only takes about ten minutes. No pushy agents, and in most cases, no medical exams. It's perfect for us. Can we apply right now? Why not? And after dinner, maybe we can. Celebrate. You know what? Ethos is perfect for us. Ethos is ethical term life insurance. Straightforward and super fast. Don't put it off. Go to ethoslife.com for a free instant quote now. E-T-H-O-S-Life.com. That's ethoslife.com. Everyone loves a classic. Real rock, classic rock is always on the Eagle. It's oh. its only classic rock. What you call it? Nice to use one of the same threads in the Makes me sweat. 
right there is the crack. Looks like a radial crack all the way around. I don't see that in the other ones. surfaces are clean everything got vacuumed out right mm -hmm. all right guys so all right so there you have it both heads are reassembled back together a little bit of a scare looking at those radial cracks all the way around the tip of the valve stems but after doing a quick research on the Google the Google machine apparently it's very common so all right so we're getting ready to put the heads back on stay tuned because here we go
Galveston. Come seek the loyal correction. Get your nuts, hot soil soaked nuts, and we'll wash it first. Fast, reliable internet. Is that important to your business? We couldn't work without it. At Comcast oh, Business, yeah. we go beyond the sequence. Good books, what I used to rebuild this engine the first time. So in the back of the book, it's got your torque sequences. Hopefully y'all can see this. I'm going to hold this up here for a minute so y'all can, can get that. Pause the video if you need to. There's number one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, that nine, and then ten. And then you t just torque these ones afterwards. So another gentleman I saw on YouTube said that he torques them all up to 70 foot-pounds with these studs. So the first preliminary torque is going to be 30 foot-pounds. And then 50 foot-pounds. And then 70. So that's what we're going to do. Or 55 and then 70. So there you go. Just a little closer. Now the torque specs. Well, of course, this is this is all for the GM head bolts. In case you want them for the GM head bolts, there you go. Pause the video if you need to. Yeah, this should all be in there. Might be slid up underneath. I didn't really follow the correct order. So. All right. All right, be a little gap in there. We got the heads torqued down. I just got to torque down the little bolts yet. Uh, cleaning up the valve covers. Push rods are soaking in the chem dip. Right there is chem dip. So. Uh, clean that up. Sun's over cleaning the valve covers. Listen to some Journey. Getting her done. Fajitas. Fajitas are on the grill. So, 
We're getting there. It's a slow process. All right, well, battery's about to die, so y'all gonna have to imagine what happens next. All right, bye. All right, guys, I had to switch over to my phone because my uh, camera battery died. Got the heads all done. Just put in the push rods. Getting ready to put the lifters in. Ninety-two percent member satisfaction rating. We've earned our stripes. Go with Christus U.S. Family Health Plan. Enroll today at usfhpenroll.com. Meet Jerry. He suffers from sleep apnea. I could wake the dead with my snoring. But CPAP wasn't working for him. That's when Jerry discovered Inspire, a sleep apnea solution and alternative to CPAP. There's just no feeling like it. To learn how you can treat sleep apnea without a mask and review important safety information, visit InspireSleep.com. Hi, Amy. Welcome to the Xfinity Store. Oh, thank you. Happy to be here. Can I go to the Xfinity Store today? And 42119. Restrictions apply. New X1 Saber Pro double play customers only. Equipment, taxes, and fees, including BTD and RSN fees extra and subject to change. After term regular rates apply. Netflix and Prime streaming memberships required. Not just good, but great. Not just good, but great. Good ranchers, great sex. Not just good, but great. Right now, get 20 fillets for $29. That's 20 thick cut choice fillets for only $29. That's almost a dollar a steak. Look for the big white tip when you book early. So hurry. Everyone deserves a vacation. What if I just got back from vacation? Did you splash down water slides and ride bikes in the sky? No. Then you deserve another vacation. What if I'm always in paradise because I'm a social media influencer? Still deserve it. And Carnival sales to Montego Bay, Grand Cayman, and Cozumel on one trip. What if I have a house full of kids and one trip for myself? You definitely deserve a vacation. So book a four or five day cruise now. You and the kids will love it. Well, what if I'm a picky eater? We have Italian. I don't know. Asian? Getting away. 22 foot pounds. We were at the neighbor's house for dinner one year when I was in high school. For the Rockers. The so, 22. The off the bone in the kitchen, the ham still sitting on that beautiful gold foil, and that sweet, crunchy glaze. She handed me a little piece to try, and I've been working it ever since. So, for future family dinners, Mom and I made it a tradition. We would always make plans to go to the Honey Bay Ham store together to pick out the perfect ham for our this is the Eagle, Houston's only classic rock. Okay. I just started from the center. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight. 
but it's just obviously. Yeah, just like uh, that. Work your way off. I don't think it really matters. But... Almost there. Get everything else done. Son got the front put back on. So, we're just about there. What do you say, Cody? I took off the uh, ABS majigger off of that thing. That was a bitch. So, tomorrow we shall start her. Got the fuel relay off, so she should not start. We just want to prime it a little bit to get some oil pressure going. All right, just turn the key forward. Yeah, I didn't hear nothing. All right, crank it. Nothing. All right. Crank it. Oh. Hopefully it's in park, huh? Alright, go ahead and see what crank is. Oil pressure come up at all? You can open the door. Oh, don't turn the lights on too much. You can roll the window down and see the camera. Turn it off and on a couple times just to get the uh, fuel pump to run. Just leave it on for a second. Alright, then turn it off and then back on. Yeah, now you can hear it. Do it a couple more times. Brake light? Yeah. Oh, it's because I got that thing off. Yeah. Alright. 
Yes, it should start. Chevy for old Chevy. Alright, well, it's just smoking a little bit just because there was, uh, we put um, oil and stuff on the bolts and stuff when we were torquing it down. So, and we're going to go ahead and zip on the, um, the exhaust, put that back on. That way it's not throwing any engine codes that we don't need to see. Alright, guys, well, the Blue Beast so far looks like she's awake. We're going to button up the rest of this real quick, air up the tires, and, uh, Next shot, you'll see us uh, driving her around, giving her a quick shakedown. A little bit of an exhaust leak, I can hear it. It's a shakedown run. She's idling really funky because of the freaking uh, EGR tube that goes in the intake. It's, uh, it's jacked up. So it's leaking super. You can hear it sucking in air while we were, uh, got the mufflers or the exhaust pipe back on. You can hear it. It was island real rough and you could hear it sucking air it was hissing real bad so i hit it with a bar trying to push it into the intake a little bit more it closed it up a little bit better started idling a little bit better but uh see what happens i broke the water sending unit clip so right now that wire is just plugged into it so we'll see what happens Did you plug that new unit in? Did you plug the other unit in? Oh, that's what it is. No, I didn't. We've got the scruffy dog with us. Sounds good. Other than a weird little lobby idle. Oil pressure's good. Normal voltage is normal, water temperature is slowly coming up. Probably the short term and long term fuel trims are probably going nuts right now. Does it mean she sound a little bit different? A little bit. I think she sounds a little different. Like in a good way. Alright, well the Blue Beast right now is back on the road. She's just under 210 on the temperature. Like she's kind of stayed there. We got extra water with us in case we need to throw some in there. The only thing really left to do to her so far is just putting the, uh, the front bumper back on. That's the only thing left to do to it. And fix that stupid EGR too. So, all right, guys. Well, if y'all enjoyed this video, man, please uh, like, share, subscribe, and uh, comment down below. Right, guys, have a good one.